hey guys welcome back to my channel in my tutorial now this is the first video that I'm making on power BI and this is a very powerful analysis uh, tutorial that I'm going to teach you today so stay tuned first I'm going to explain what is it that I'm going to do uh, today in this particular tutorial and then I'm going to teach you how to exactly achieve this particular result now what you see on my screen here is basically we have something called as tail sales we have products name and we have sales amount and then we've got a percentage slider and then we've got top sales and then we've got uh, sales uh, by state and the amount over here so now my percentage slider is basically set at 15 percent what basically this is saying is that uh, i have uh, 12 products which are over here this is the number of products which are there in this particular list which is 12 and these are my 74 products which are there which i'm calling that as uh, tail sales so now since the percentage slider is set at 15 percent it is basically telling me that 12 products uh, are contributing to 1.5 million worth of sales versus 74 products which are contributing to 722k worth of sales right now let's move this slider let's to 30 percent and see what really happens now it's telling me that 30 percent of my products contribute to 1.7 million uh, worth of sales and just 61 products contribute to contribute to only 535,000 sales now this is a great insight opportunity uh, especially when it comes to sales or when it comes to spend when you're analyzing as to who your top suppliers are, are or, or what are your top products which are selling so that you can concentrate on these top selling products and concentrate lesser on these so that you uh, increase your revenue now this is what uh, we will be learning today the other thing that i have here is i have uh, the uh, sales by state so for example when i click here on california it will tell me that these are my top selling products 25 products contribute to 368,000 versus 61 products which contribute to, to only 88,000 uh, worth of sales i hope you've got a brief idea as to what we're trying to do and uh, how powerful this analysis is going to be now let's look at how we can uh, uh, create this particular uh, analysis dashboard from scratch so let's get started i've uh, just imported the excel file over here so uh, we will begin with adding a percentage uh, slider first for that i'm going to go to uh, the modeling tab and i'm going to click on new parameter so uh, when i in this I'm, i'll just give it this name uh, i will call this as a percentage uh, slider and this is going to be a, um, a decimal number and then my minimum value is going to be uh, 0 0.01 which is one percent basically and then my maximum value is going to be uh, 1.01 .01. and my increment is going to be 0 0.01 and then i'm going to click on ok so basically this will uh, now add a, a, sli uh, a slider to my uh, uh chart over here so let's go ahead and quickly format this and so that it appears uh, as percent now i have formatted this now you can see here we, from one percent we have all the way up to 100 percent so let's keep this aside over here uh, and then uh, let's uh, go to the next step which is basically the way it is done is uh, the power bi needs to identify uh, the products uh, by way of a ranking method so let's create a rank i'm going to click on new measure over here and i'm going to call this as rank is equals to i'm going to use the function which is called as rank x and then i'm going to type in the formula here all selected from the orders uh, table i'm going to take the product name i'm going to take the uh, product name and i'm going to close the bracket comma calculate sum 
I'm going to take the sum of the sales amount close the bracket comma and then I'm, I want to uh, sorry I missed out one comma over here I'm going to close this uh, type in comma I don't have any value to enter here I'm going to type in the comma again and I'm going to select a uh, descending order over here comma and then I'm going to select dense here and uh, close the bracket and press enter so basically this will uh, create a rank for us which will help us in identifying the uh, or the identifying the products now uh, I'm going to create another measure here and I'm going to call this as a uh, top n percent so basically what this will do is this will identify the number of products uh, uh, based on the percentage that we select so the formula that I'm going to use here is I'm going to use distinct count and then I'm counting the products by their name so which is the, the field that I have here is product name I'm going to close the bracket and then I'm going to multiply this with our percentage slider value press enter so our second measure has been created now let's create another measure and call this as top n filter is equals to and here I'm going to use an if condition here and if rank is less than equals to calculate top n percent the measure that we just created comma all selected from the table I'm going to close the bracket type in comma one else return blank close enter so we've created our third measure so now let's look at adding these uh, so let's create a table over here and add uh, product name and let's add uh, the sales amount now we have the product name and sales amount we have the total list of product sales and their sales amount which is 2.2 uh, uh, million over here now I'm going to select these measure and bring it on this visual over here and I'm going to click on is blank and click on apply let's move this slider to let's say about 25 percent and then I'm going to copy this and uh, uh, create another table sorry that didn't get copied let me create another table over here uh, to this side of the table and then I'm going to change this top and filter to is not blank this is basically working on the if condition that we just wrote here and I'm going to click on apply over here let me move this let me for just format this here okay so now it's basically we have achieved this where you where you're playing around here with the slider right now it's at a 25% it's telling us that we have 1.7 million spend with these many products here and then the 75% of the bottom uh, products are over here and we have a spend of 588k with them now uh, you need to add two more measures which will basically tell you the count uh, as to how many products are there in the top table and in the bottom table so let's see how we can uh, add that I'm, I'm going to create a new measure again I'm going to call this as number of top products is equals to I'm going to use the count X function count X and then I'm going to uh, use the values function within it orders uh, and the product name all right and uh, I'm going to close the bracket type in comma and then I'm going to use the if function 
if my top n filter is not equals to blank else return 1 I'm going to close the bracket close the bracket again I made a mistake uh, let me just add this uh, oops it got added to this particular table I want to add that as a card so I'm going to just click here um, and uh, I'm going to change this mistake I'm going to correct this mistake here call it as top number of top products all right so here we see that there are 21 products uh, let's bring this down to 15 percent so you can see that there are 12 products over here so now we've uh, identified the number of products which are there in this table let's look at identifying the bottom products as well what you can do is you can just copy this measure create a new measure i'm sorry you got created as a column i don't need a column i need a measure i'm going to click on new measure i'm going to paste this call this number of let's say bottom products and uh, i'm going to say is equals to change this not equal to to is equals to blank press enter and then you can copy paste this particular visual over here and replace it with the number of bottom products there you go you have 74 uh, products which are there in your bottom list and 12 products which are there in your top list now you can uh, um, change the colors add graphs and uh, you can add the title over here make it look nice and neat and clean so that when you're presenting this to your leadership team um, they are mighty impressed with this uh, I hope this video, uh, I hope you have learned something new. This is extremely, extremely powerful tool when you use this and uh, when you put in the right sort of data into this and utilize this particular tool, it does wonders and your leadership team is going to be mighty impressed if you use this. I hope this video has helped you. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.